Hi guys, Andrew here from Two Asian Keepers, and I just wanted to do a review on the MF8 Mega Minx. Um, I got this puzzle quite a while ago, but uh, I don't know. I just decided I should probably do a review on it. So uh, first off, I want to say that this Mega Minx is awesome. Um, originally I had a black Mega Minx, but uh, I wanted to keep my collection all white, so I ended up selling it and got a tiled version of this. My black one was stickered, so I got the tiled one because getting new stickers for a Mega Minx is like four bucks off of Cube uh, Cubesmith, so I figured I'd save myself some money if I just got tiles instead. Uh, tiles feel really nice. I mean, I don't. There's, I don't really have any problem with them. I mean, nothing really special. They're tiles. Um, as for turning quality, it's really fast. Um, when I first got it, it had some really weird issues with it. Like, at corners like this would be glued together, and I had to take an, a packaging knife and stick it in between there and pry it apart and also the turning quality was really horrible like I could barely I could barely turn it but now uh, now what I did was a modification to it so what I ended up doing was uh, I shaved this down with my Dremel and I also did the same thing on the corners right there and uh well base it's pretty easy to do basically all you do is just round off everything and also what i did was i took off all the caps and lubed the screws and springs and that was really what made the puzzle turn really great um that's the key to the mega minx i would say um it's r finger trickable like it turns really well. Um, it's bit barely been broken in, and it turns well for cutting. Um, I don't know if you can see that. For cutting, you can do well. One sec. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, that was not supposed to happen. Um, what ended up happening there was that, uh, as I was trying to cut, uh, the corn, I'll show you in a sec. When I was trying to cut right here, um, these, this corner got stuck on the, on the center, and when I tried to force it through, it just popped off. Usually it doesn't do that. So like, as you can see here, I'm cutting just about line to line, no problem, like, I, I barely have to even push, um, super fast. So yeah, if you do get a uh, MF8 Mega Minx, I would recommend lubing the springs, um, they're, it's pretty cheap, I would probably get this over the Mefferts Mega Minx simply because it's cheaper. I don't know how well the Mefferts Mega Minx turns, but I mean, this is great for what it is. Um, I got it for, I believe, 12 bucks shipped from Amazon. Um, also, uh, I don't have any lube inside of this, and I think it would just slow it down, so I would probably avoid lubing it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this was a video by Andrew. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.